folks, conclusive proof. An interdimensional warrior who gave his life to protect our planet and who will no doubt go down in history as the greatest superhero of all time. But that's not all, folks. Here's the real blockbuster. Brace yourselves, you might want to sit down. What the? Hello to all and welcome back to the channel. So this week's episode, episode 5 of WandaVision, left a lot of people speechless, to say the least. Now while there are many facets of the show that we can discuss at length, there are a few points I want to highlight in the show that I actually want to focus on. But hold up, wait, wait, careful for spoilers if you haven't seen this week's episode. Okay, so first, right out the gate. The big reveal that Evan Peters from the Fox universe of Marvel, standing on the front doorstep of Vision's household. Now I know a lot of us YouTubers want to be those people with the tinfoil hats on and we want to be the first ones to report on something that happens, right? Nevertheless, this is pretty significant even if it doesn't lead to anything else in the Marvel Cinematic Universe but from the clip that we've seen on the first part of the video, even if this is a one-off, right? You can almost kind of see the Jonah Jameson clip as being almost like a ripple effect of what just happened in WandaVision. Whether that is the case or not remains to be seen. But what has been seen is the groundwork that has been laid ever since Far From Home's in credit scene. And one thing that I do want to point out right now is the inclusion of Sword into the storyline of WandaVision kind of opens up the doors for other things to become possibilities no matter which direction they choose to take. And for those who might be just a little fuzzy on what just happened in this episode, let me explain in a nutshell what just took place. A few years back when Marvel was experiencing some financial difficulties, i.e. they were getting ready to go bankrupt. They sold their rights to certain characters such as Wolverine, the X-Men, to Fox. Fox had to put out movies at a certain time period in order to honor the contract agreement, right? So that's why you see X-Men, Spider-Man, and things of that nature, those properties, right? being owned by Fox and being produced under Sony exclusively. But now Disney has bought the rights to Fox. They could introduce anyone. And because shows like this and also upcoming shows like The Falcon and the Winter Soldier due to drop March 19th of this year, which is also coming to Disney Plus and those reviews will be on my channel as well. Disney is beginning to flex his muscles hard like a Mr. Olympia Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. <laughs> There's no telling what this could all lead into the future of Marvel. Now the other topic I want to bring up revolves around Wanda's and Agnes' relationship in this particular episode. Now even though Wanda herself says she doesn't know how exactly everything started, I mean, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100, we could be witnessing the birth of Wanda as a Nexus being. That's the only thing I can really come up with at this point that really kind of nails down something that is comic book related or sourced that also kind of explains what could be happening with Wanda's OP powers at this point. But one thing's for certain, Agnes knows exactly what is going on. She's the only one that's not really affected by the edits. As a matter of fact, she even suggests that they should edit a scene while within the scene. So obviously, Agnes has to be a person who's in the know. And I'm pretty certain by the end of next week's episode, the Halloween episode, that we'll know a lot more about Agnes than previously known. All right, so there are two more topics I want to discuss, one of which is what is going on with the vision. And what I mean is, in the real world, as well as what is going on in WandaVision, it is a strong possibility that somehow Swart got hold of Vision's body. Is it possible that they were somehow able to reprogram Vision's corpse somehow? In any case, that doesn't seem like something Swart would do, right? Unless they're being manipulated by another agency. Just something to think about. Now this last topic is something I want to highlight just very briefly. Whether or not this is important, I really don't know, but it's just something that I noticed in one of my edits. There's this object right here in the background, I don't have no idea what this is. And what's even a little bit more strange, it doesn't show up in any other subsequent shots after that one take. Now it could just be an old school radio or stereo or something like that, I don't know, but it kind of looks a little strange, doesn't it? Now after watching Doctor Strange several times to try to get an idea of how the books look within that world, I did notice a similar pattern within Wanda's woodwork within her house. Again, could be something, could be nothing. But based on what she is going through in her situation, she has to have come in contact with some type of relic. And only one person in the show at this point knows and her name is Agnes. That just about does it guys. Post your comments down below, let us know what you think about the observations and theories within this video. 
please leave a like subscribe because we have way more content like this coming out we're going to be covering the new black lightning episodes as well as loosely dabbling in some type of recap of the new season of flash if you made it this far we certainly appreciate you watching and until then see you then